Welcome to DIY Filler and Rub. We got these four solar panels running just fine. Now, the one battery went up to 14 volts. So I added an extra battery to it and it makes it a little better. Today I get home from work. It's at 14 volts. I plugged it into the computer. Plug the computer in to the off grid batteries. There's now two batteries. So, uh, everything's good to go. But, it doesn't run long enough for the big computer. I'm going to now put the third battery on there. I'm going to show you what I have at the moment. It's a little noisy out here. And I did not turn on lights. So now I have two batteries and a big off-grid inverter. It's huge. It's the Jupiter. I was going to use that for the garage. This charge controller right here apparently isn't that great. It let the batteries go over 14 volts. It's supposed to shut off the solar power but maybe it's supposed to be 14.5. I don't know. It might get changed out this next week. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and put on a third battery. And probably connect another solar panel. Going off grid, one solar panel at a time. And I'll probably get another stand here pretty soon <laughs> to get another battery on there. Yeah, so go ahead, click down below if you want to see all the rest of my videos. And click on subscribe. And you're going to see as I get a whole bunch more solar panels connected, I'm going to take at least my computer off grid. <laughs> it's a big computer. So, uh,. Click on subscribe and then click the little bell and you will see all of my upcoming videos for taking my house off grid. See ya.